I am really driven to have justice, to have fairness mm -hmm. in the world. I'm also driven by a dry, um, an interest in integration. So bringing in information and people from different places and putting them together in new ways. Because another core value of mine is creativity. And that encompasses then, you know, taking from creative alternative places, ideas and impulses and bringing them, bringing them together to make something new. So innovation then would be the third value I'd name as a high one for me. What makes me happy is creating something. Mm -hmm. I actually, sometimes I wonder uh, why one has to choose either, either to do this activity or that, like just paid work or just uh, private life home, because there's something wonderful to my mind of bringing it all, bringing it all together. So I love to bake bread and I love to go for long walks in the forest and I love to spend time just uh, listening to great music or playing, I play the harp. So making music, making art, writing, these are all things that make me really happy. I have noticed that where we are in this historical moment is unique and we take it a little for granted. What I mean is we've come from, in very short recent history, come from times where women weren't allowed at university or if they were, that was at a very minimal level of involvement. And moving from the United States to Germany, I was confronted with a feeling of a stepping back in time because the German university system hadn't caught up with trends in late 20th century norms around gender equality. So for me, being here in Germany and staying, which is hard because I'm away from family and friends and familiar culture, but I do love it here for a lot of reasons that have to do with German culture and for a sense of mission that I can make a difference just because of who I am and what I bring in terms of what for me would be normal in terms of respect for human beings and not placement of people into categories and closing doors on them because of the categories that we ascribe to them. So for me, I bring in the sociology and my own socialization as well as um, an international imperative picture and then what's really precious to me is I've always cared about history. So to reflect where we are now in terms of where we've been and where we'd like to go. And so to be part of the process, that's the question, what am I doing? Being part of the process of moving an agenda forward of getting everybody welcome to bring in all of their talents and their values and their skills to make something new together, as opposed to putting us into small boxes and saying, no, you can't. You're not allowed, or you're not welcome. This is for me, it's sort of getting a welcome culture. Hospitality would be another value I could name. A welcome culture for all kinds of people to bring who they are for a joint project. That is such a good question. And I thought about this question, I thought when I was a child, I read autobiography, not autobiography, biographies of uh, famous women. Amelia Earhart was one of them. So this adventurous first pilot. And Florence Nightingale was another. And I think for, for me that was sort of in dramatic times doing what she could to make things better. And, uh, and then actually personally private, so my own life, my advisor for my dissertation was an incredible, is an incredible scientist, an incredible human being. She, um, she lost her husband at age 32. She had two small children. She got a PhD anyway and she got a professorship anyway at Cornell University. I mean, anyway, in the sense of she was carrying the load of being the primary breadwinner and the primary caregiver for a young family and doing it because that's what you do. You just do it, you just show up. And then she kept showing up as herself the whole time. So we were, we were um, mentored intensively. It was a beautiful community that she created of the um, doctoral candidates and the postdocs and then the staff around and she, she pulled in enormous grants and created a family out of all of the scientists and workers involved in these grants. And she just always showed up as herself with her advice <laughs> about what to do. So I feel like I have a really strong woman at my back for my career because she shared everything she had with us. Thank you.